People very moved by uh, our Joe Kukutai story that we began with tonight. We're just going to run a little bit from the interview now. Her parents were killed by Ross Bremner in their home in Waikato, but Joe Kukutai doesn't hold any grudges against the man who was receiving treatment for mental health uh, issues. He killed uh, his mother and nearly his father as well before he fatally attacked Joe's parents in Kafia Harbour in Waikato at the beginning of last month. He then killed himself, of course. Uh, I spoke to Jo um, and her family, a remarkable, inspirational woman, and she talked about how she's tried to make peace with the man who killed her parents. We weren't angry at him. We weren't angry at the family. We just wanted to express that, you know, we were at a loss as well, and so were they, and we, we just wanted to acknowledge that. What makes that even more unlikely and extraordinary is that while the details of the attacks haven't yet been released, they were so frenzied that Joe had to be told that her family couldn't have a tangi. You know, there's no easy way to say it. Unfortunately, the caskets have to be sealed. They can't embalm, and you won't have long with them. Ross Bremner didn't know the people he killed before taking his own life at their home having first killed his own mother, Claire, and almost killed his own father, Keith. It was a decision of ours to go to the funerals um, for both Ross and Claire. Uh, it was a decision for us to honour them in their lives, the same way that we honoured Mum and Dad the week before. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Bremler family are a lovely family, and they are suffering just like we are. It's a sad situation, but having anger and resentment does not bring them back. Having anger and resentment doesn't fix anything. So I guess we've chosen forgiveness, and that's helped us to get through this. And yeah, we've just had a lot of prayer, not just for us, but for the Bremners as well, particularly for Keith, who's still going through this who we actually see as one of the biggest victims in this whole thing, because he suffered through it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's enough hatred in the world, and that wasn't going to help us to have that perspective on the situation. The best way was to forgive, and to forgive quickly. And the biggest part about going to the Bremner funerals was to be able to action that. Because it's easy to talk about stuff, but when you actually action it and you go to the funerals and you touch the coffins and you speak to the family of the bereaved, um, which is what myself and my husband did. We got up and we spoke just to say that we don't have any resentment, we don't have any anger. All we do have is love and forgiveness. Jo Kukutai and the full interview with Joe is going up on uh, our website and uh, on our Facebook page. Jeff Benefield has known Ross Bremner's father, Keith, for a long time, even before he married Claire. He told us how Keith is fearing after the loss of his wife and son and what it meant to have the daughter of the couple Ross Bremner killed speak at Ross and Claire's funeral. They're trying to get through this as a family and it's very difficult. They're still, their main concern now is Keith and... Um, He's, it's a slow process. You know, he's conscious. Uh, he shakes your hand and gives you the thumbs up. He's got to face this himself when he when he comes right, when he, he can't he can't talk at the moment. He's got to go through his grief yet, doesn't he? And that's why they had a private funeral, because they couldn't handle the amounts of... You know, some people pour their grief onto you. He, he hasn't... You know, he's still lying in bed and his health is not the hundred, so... A lot of times, a long time, to, when he's, you know, awake, you've got to think about these things, don't you? And that's, that's part of grieving, unfortunately. The daughter of the couple who Ross killed spoke at his funeral. To stand up and speak was was been very hard for her, grieving in her own self. But, boy, did she come up my and she spoke really well. And I thought, and she just said, I want to meet the Bremners and find out, I found out they're a marvellous family. So that that's a great thing in itself, isn't it? show of strength and her, her strength to get through it. Somewhere along the line, you can blame the health system. Too right you can. But there's no individual that's going to cop it, is it? You cut your arm, I'd take you to hospital and I'd stitch it up. These people are bleeding inside. 
Jeff Benefield talking to Bridget Burke.